Welcome to another video. CapCut, formerly known as ViaMaker, is a popular video editing app for Android and iPhones or iPads. The app has been in the top 10 worldwide most downloaded apps in 2019. The application not only runs on mobile devices, but can also be run in the browser without installation. However, not all browsers are supported, only Chrome. After starting, this screen appears and you can choose a template from many different ones. Recently, CapCut was released for Microsoft Windows PCs. In this video, I will show you how to create and edit your own videos very easily in CapCut. The software is really easy to use and supports transition effects, sound effects, visual effects, text and much more. So let's get started. After starting the software the start window of CapCut appears. Here the last projects are listed. A project can be deleted, renamed or duplicated to use it as a template for a new video. To create a new project, click Start Creating. So this is the user interface of CapCut on Windows. I import some pictures and videos from the local hard disk. The display can be changed with this button. Click on the plus sign to add a clip to the timeline. Of course drag and drop is also supported. With this button you can zoom out the timeline. Or use the other button to zoom in. Alternatively, use the keyboard shortcut control plus middle mouse wheel to zoom in or out. Press the playback button to preview the footage in the preview window. Use the shortcut control plus shift plus F to activate the full screen mode. Press escape. Press the spacebar to stop the playback. CapCut also brings its own pictures and videos. These have to be downloaded first and can then be added to the timeline just as easily. There are some websites that offer images and videos for free download. However, it is advisable to pay attention to the license. I like to use public domain images or videos that do not require a license. To rearrange clips, simply use drag and drop. Use this button to turn on the preview under the mouse. When the preview is turned on, everything is visualized immediately. To delete a clip, right-click to display the context menu. Now select Delete, or use the keyboard shortcut directly. It's a good idea to remember the most important key combinations. To undo an operation, press Ctrl plus Z as in any other Windows application. Now I would like to introduce you to other important tools in the toolbar. On the far left are the two modes Select and Split. Use the A and B keys to switch between Select and Split. I often use split with audio files. So let's add an audio file. Now I can move the audio snippets to the right place. These are the undo and redo buttons.
let's undo some editing steps. This button inserts a freeze frame. Start playback to see what happened. The next button reverses the video clip. If you like the video so far, please press the like button now. Thank you. Use this button to rotate a clip. Or use the handles in the player window. Last but not least, there is the crop button. Make sure you choose the right ratio for your video project. Of course, you can also record your voice. I don't have a microphone connected, though. Use this key to turn the magnet function on or off. When the magnet is on, there are no gaps between clips. When snapping is on, a clip snaps when it is placed near another clip. For me, these three buttons are on most of the time. It's best to try it out for yourself. The last button turns the preview on or off, this I have already discussed. Now we add a B-roll. Enlarge it by dragging it so that it covers the entire screen. Use the handles on the edge of the clip to shorten its duration. Now let's add some text. CapCut has many presets. Change the font if you like. Of course, you can also make the text bold, italic, or underlined. Choose something fancy. You can also add shadows. I won't explain this further. Play around with the effects yourself. Here you can add start animations for the text. Notice the horizontal line that represents the animation. You can add stickers to your video. Just drag and drop them onto the timeline. Place them wherever you want. Add animation.
CapCut supports many effects. Select an effect to preview it. Drag and drop the effect onto a clip to apply the effect. Change the effect intensity in the Properties panel. To remove an effect, right-click and choose Delete. Transition effects are very useful. To add a transition, press the plus icon. If you don't like the transition, right-click to delete it. Of course, you can also drag the transition to a specific place between two clips. CapCut also supports filters. Filters are used to create a certain mood. Toggle the filter to see the difference. You can use the properties window to scale the video clip, or to change the X and Y position, rotate and so on. CapCut supports many blending modes. I won't go into chroma key in this video. The video has already become longer than I intended. Masks are very useful and easy to apply. Let's quickly add more transitions. CapCut comes with a few songs. Put the playhead at the end. Split and delete. Change the volume of the sound. This is an important step, otherwise some people might complain. Let's quickly look at the final result. The last step is to export the video. The default settings are sufficient. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. I have discussed the main features in CapCut for Windows. Now you should be able to edit a video from start to finish in CapCut. See you in the next video.